Hello and welcome to this video. In this particular video I'm going to show you the basics of recomposing and cropping photographs in Adobe Photoshop CC 2014. So here we have an image that I have open of a lady, a lovely lady on a boat I presume or maybe a pier, I don't know. And behind her is the ocean and really I think probably you would want to crop these edges. Maybe not, but that's what we're going to do for this video. So there's a few different ways to activate the crop tool. The first way would be just to click it here. It's this one. You can hover over it and you can see the shortcut for it is C. That just means if you press C on your keyboard, it will automatically select that. There are a few different options up here as well. There's the ratio that you can set, you can type this out in these two boxes with the width and the height. You can clear that at any time as well. This box here means you will delete cropped pixels. That basically means if we do crop out these two edges here, they will disappear forever. So it might be best just to click that so it's not checked. And then if we do make a mistake, we've always got those pixels there. So one thing you can do is just drag in from the edges. We have it set to original ratio, which means it will keep this ratio that it is set at right now. That's why when I drag that in, it's bringing it in from the corners as it would if I dragged it in from the corner. However, if I set it just to ratio, you can drag it in as and where you want to. Completely changing the ratio. If you go over the bounds of the image, it will just create transparency. That's what these grey and white checkered areas mean. Just transparency. If you ever want to get back to where you were, you will find that when you're in this crop screen, everything is kind of locked on the crop screen. So sometimes I find it easiest to just crop it. So to crop, all you do, there's a few different ways. You can either just double click on the image, you can press enter on your keyboard, you can press this tick up here, or if you just select another tool, it will ask you, do you wanna crop it? So you can click don't crop and it will go back to what it was. Or you can click crop and then undo that to go back to how you were. So I'm just going to click Dirt Crop. So now if I reselect my crop tool, I can set a certain ratio here. There's a lot of different ratio set preset options. There's a square one. So I can drag that in and make a square image, maybe based to the width of her hat. And that would be really good for profile pictures, that kind of thing. You can press enter on my keyboard to make that the option. If I want to reactivate that crop, I just make sure I have my crop tool selected and just click on there. And you can see that these, this area is still there. That wouldn't be there if we'd have had this checkbox checked. They would have gone. So I think it is important to make sure that that is not checked. So I'll just press enter on there to keep that on. I think that's really nice like that. If you decide that you want to change it again, you can always reactivate that cropped area again. Change the ratio, keep it to the original ratio. Or maybe, and that will keep it to the original ratio that we've got now. Maybe we just want it random. Ah, we've got to, at the moment we've got one by one in here, so if we clear that and then put it to original ratio. Put it back to ratio. We'll get free room of the place. And we can set that to that. Another thing we might want to do actually, just going to set the ratio back to one by one. Put it back to here something really quite nifty. 
is to rotate the image. So you'll notice when you take the crop tool out here, you get this, this little rotate arrow icon. You can just click that and drag it. And that will rotate the image. It looks confusing because it rotates the image rather than the box. So it can look a little bit confusing, but this is what it does. And then if we just let go of our click, you can see there what it's done. Anything out of the box will be transparent. And then we can press enter or double click. And that brings up the cropped image. So this is what you see. Everything outside is just gray. This is your image within this box. I think that's really nice. We can click it again to activate it and we can put it back how it was. If we hold down shift on our keyboard that will make it straight. And then we can drag her back down into the box. And again press enter to make that stick. So that is how you crop and recompose your image also makes you think a little bit more differently when you come to take images now you know what you can do with them when you get them into photoshop and you can create all kinds of things by cropping and twisting and doing everything with this crop tool that's it for this video and i'll see you in the next one